Hey there! Based on Trillium, Brightspace creates separate shells for each class that we have. If you'd like to manage all of the students in one particular time block in one Brightspace shell, this video is for you. So we'll take it in two steps. We'll create two separate sections inside of a combined shell in the first step, and then in the second step, we'll manually add all the students in one shell, assign them to sections, and set up release conditions so students will only see the material for their own class. So in the example I'm using today, I've got a grade 12 law, it's Canadian and international, in block C and also in block C, lucky me, I've got a grade 11 understanding Canadian law. So the first thing we have to do is decide which one will host both classes, and I'm picking the grade 12 shell we're going to go over to Course Admin and perform a number of tasks to get ready. First of all, we go to Course Offering Information. And just so kids won't be confused by the title of the course, I'm going to change the course offering name to reflect the fact that it is now a combined class. I'm going to scroll down and select Course Has Sections. That's a crucial step. We have to set up sections and save. And now we're going to go to Course Admin again. And now we're going to go to the Sections tool. And we've got a couple of steps here. We're going to create two sections. Our enrollment type is Number of Sections. Number of Sections. And we're going to have two of them and create. I'd like to edit them a little bit. I'm going to click on the section name and this is going to be for my grade 11s and I've got a little code here and this one's going to be for my grade 12s. Now, right now, on my class list here, I don't have all of my students. I just have my grade 12s. So you can see I've got uh, three students here on the class list. I'm going to go over to my class list for the grade 11 class and get the names of the kids. And when you're adding students to the classmate uh, class list, you use their uh, username, which is their Trillium student number, just to be super accurate. And you go add participants, add existing unit uh, students. Did I say units? Oh dear, dreadful. And let me see. There are the students I'm going to add in. I'm just going to do this quickly. But they need to have a role. Thank you for reminding me, Brightspace. Make sure that they're students, not teachers. Wouldn't want to do that. Did that for one heart-stopping moment once and switch them back. And these guys that are coming over, they're all going to be in my grade 11 section. Okay, so let's go back to course. We're done for now. Let's go back to course admin. And we're going to scroll down to our sections tool and see how our sections are looking. So I've got, I think Brightspace will do some auto enroll sometimes. So you just have to look at it and massage it and make sure that it's correct. So we use the enroll users button. So for grade 11, I just want Chelsea, Joanne, Chelsea, Joanne, and Mafuza. Somehow Zelia and Alain snuck in there. I'm going to hit save. And then for my grade 12s, remember they were on our class list for grade 12 before. I just want to make sure that I've got the correct kids here. And that was Zelia, Alain, and Jason. So 
between the two, and you can check them against the email that we get every day from IT that says who's in which section. That reflects what's in Trillium, so you can always double check there. Also check that email to make sure that somebody wasn't added to this is now kind of a, a shell that's just sitting there and I'm not actively using it, so do make sure you check those emails. All right, so now that I've got kids all in this class and they'll see this and get them to pin it and add it to their waffle and stick a pin in it because that's where they'll be coming every day to join your zooms and use the calendar and all of this good stuff that they do together but how do you distinguish between them um, you can like direct them with a lot of typing say look at this look at that but they'll still get confused what's really powerful in bright space is the ability to select an audience so we'll demonstrate how to do that with an announcement so say I want an announcement just for my grade 11s. I'm going to pop something in there to keep them busy. So just the grade 11s are working on this. So what I want to do when I look at the availability, I want to choose an audience. And because this is our first time through, we're creating a new audience. Once we've done it before, we'll be able to select it. And it's easy peasy from there on in. But first time, the condition type, we want section. So under class list, we're going to go with section enrollment. Way too many options on this screen. And remember, we said it was grade 11s. So I don't want to confuse my grade 12s. My grade 12s will not even see this. Only my grade 11s will see this. So you have to be enrolled in the grade 11 section in order to see this and publish. So it's conditionally released just to our grade 11s. So keep that in mind as you're working on the content throughout your course, you're always thinking of who your audience is.